the years, leaders and organizations were successful because they relied on past experience and they were able to rely on the knowledge that they gained about the various industries and technologies they were working on. That carried us through for many, many years of success. Only in the 1990s we started realizing that that kind of intelligence, which we refer to as analytical intelligence, is actually not sufficient and that leaders need to become mature in a different kind of way to be able to work with individuals to draw out their best. And so the concept of emotional intelligence started to develop. And that was a very important development in the idea that there are more than one intelligence that's necessary for leaders to be successful and organizations to succeed. But what we found in the last 10 years is that there's a new kind of intelligence that's really necessary. Analytical intelligence, relying on experience and relying on knowledge, will get us so far, but not far enough to deal with the new kinds of uncertainties we face. Emotional intelligence is very important to be mature about the kinds of challenges that we're encountering, but now we need a new kind of intelligence called innovative intelligence, the ability to gain insight into problems that we have not seen before, where we are facing that kind of ambiguity and uncertainty, a new kind of complexity. So we gain insight by applying our innovative intelligence and also the ability to work with teams and each other to be able to draw out and discover innovative solutions, to discover new possibilities and ways of doing things. So combined with what we know in the past in the analytical intelligence and with the maturity of the emotional intelligence, when you add the innovative intelligence to deal with the uncertainty and the ambiguities, we're able to then be able to build the kind of organizations we need to succeed and be competitive into the future.